Hello friends. Welcome back to Southern Blessed Homestead. It's been a while since we've had a garden update and I'm sorry. Life has been busy and I'm pretty sure most of you understand that. Well, um, so I'm going to take you on just a little bit of a tour. Hopefully I won't ramble on too much. But um, if you've watched our garden tours before, you kind of know where everything is. And so I guess I'll just show you how much things are growing and what's going on. So follow me. <laughs> All right. Over here, it seems like the cherry tomatoes uh, going on my trellis and the beans seem to be doing pretty well. They are um, they're grasping everything pretty good. And we've got some beautiful tomatoes over here. Coming on. These are the Brad's Atomic Grape, which I was noticing that these are on the east side, kind of facing east. And I have the same tomato over here on that faces the west side. And these have the purple hue to them, which is normal from what um, I'm used to from because I grew them last year. So I'm not really sure if, you know, the sunlight or something has to do with it. I don't know why one is still pretty green and these are purple. But they're, they usually, when they're ripe, they turn more um, kind of a rainbowy color because they get some yellow into them when they get more and more ripe so if anybody has noticed that with yours that you grow let me know what you think why it does that but we've got um the yellow pear that are coming on over here and i'm thinking that this tomato plant might have come down with a little bit of a virus type thing which it's not one that can kill a tomato plant but it just kind of dwarfs it a little bit so i'm watching it and i'm spraying it with neem oil and we're just going to see how it does it's still producing fruit so and also i'm so excited i have some noodle beans coming on right here coming on some little noodle beans they're flowering really well and climbing up flowers are closed right now it is bug season so i'm doing my best with spraying with the uh, neem oil and stuff so the rest of the plants are doing really well the coming right along i started back to fertilizing everything once a week and spraying as often as i need to as far as the bugs go so we've got our peppers here and flowers going and then our tomatillos in each of these beds pretty much has about the same thing maybe a different variety but the same and the, the yellow zucchini is coming along very well you can see it down here i'm fixing to pick one so we've got several of these off sometimes i cut it and sometimes i just twist it so. <laughs> yep and we also have some ripe pineapple tomatillos see it comes in this little paper hull and then you open it up and there it is and don't tell my grandson because he hasn't got to eat one yet but i'm gonna eat it mm, it's so sweet we call it candy and we've got peppers little peppers these are the mini bells and they're a little stinted but they're doing fairly well i've got my onions in here still and i'm watching them they are growing i need to fertilize them a little bit more but this whole huge thing is the tomatillos plant which my grandson will be over here tomorrow so i'm sure that they we will be out here hunting some ripe more ripe ones pepper plants flowers we also are doing fairly well with our uh, yellow squash too so i do have i'm gonna go ahead and get one while we're out here we're gonna be harvesting a little bit while we're out here so we have some beautiful squash i like to get them you know fairly medium or small so they fry up really well and that's the way my family enjoys them so we're going to, uh, I'm passing these along to my family as well. So we're enjoying this. And 
this is the patty pan squash and it's doing pretty good i can see a couple of them in there that need about ready to come out and we've got the pineapple tomatoes i did have to prune can you believe it i had to prune this thing it was so everywhere and it was dwarfing my pepper plants and stuff on the side so it hasn't hurt it it's still producing really well so i just keep pruning it back a little bit and watching it and then we've got peppers coming on i think these are the tabasco peppers we got a little tabasco which i've never grown before so we got tabasco we've also got our melon patch over here is doing well i've been kind of trying to redirect and maybe prune just a little bit so i can have some specific white lines producing but um they're hidden everywhere and i'm so excited we're gonna have us some melons hopefully yep and they're all doing pretty good uh our grapevine is doing fairly well we this was an old walmart save from the destruction we've got a little bit of grapes down here but this is just our first year so it's probably not going to do a whole lot um you know it's not going to do a whole lot this year and i have my moringa plant and i need to put some uh mulch down in here but i put the leftover uh squash things in there just to keep it from getting too dried out it has been so hot in the 80s and 90s early well low 90s it gets hotter and we're still gonna be hotter <laughs> but we're having to water things that are in pots because it gets too dry so down this little path we've got all the flowers different kind of flowers coming up i've got some four o'clocks that are planted they're coming up i can't wait to see this when it gets bigger but here's my echinacea flowers doing really well i just saw that andrea from vw farms put a video out about echinacea and how to use it so y'all go check out vw family farms and andrea and she'll tell you how to process and use that echinacea Oh, my zinnias are doing really well. Oh, that bumblebee. <laughs> He's crawling on the ground. <laughs> I don't know if there's something wrong with him. I don't know why he was crawling. Oh. Anyway, the adventures of going in your garden. Okay, the watermelons are doing pretty well. Uh, like I said, it's been dry, so I need to mulch around some of this a little bit more and fertilize. Oh, yeah, we've got a little one over there, too. <laughs> yep i've been trying to uh harvest a bunch of my uh, chamomile so i can have it this winter they're so pretty i love it and the uh, malabar spinach is getting eaten up a little bit with some bugs but it's not too bad my little wild mary's tomato plant um a little cherry tomatoes is coming on they're so cute i've never grown these before so they're supposed to be little, small, little balls, little, little ones. I've been harvesting my comfrey. I'm making comfrey tea now, and I think it's really going to start helping the, the plants do a little bit better. So, look, everything's coming along, which some of it's growing the wrong way that I didn't want it to grow. Like, look, this squash plant is in here with the, the rest of the stuff. I have been getting these Mexican tomatillas. Um, harvesting them. That one's just about ready. I wait until they're real yellow. They turn yellow. Like, kind of like this one down here. And when they cop, pop off real easy, they're a tomato. It's just like that candy one I ate earlier, but it's more like a tomato. Oop, that one split. So the water going back and forth probably. It's dry. But anyway, I'm going to make some salsa verde, hopefully, with it. And yeah, as you see, the the plants are just it's drying it's the it's been so hot but the tomatoes are still coming on and they're still growing and i'm fertilizing and spraying and looky here we got some yellow vernissage tomatoes they're so pretty i'm gonna i'm gonna get the well let's see i'm gonna leave them because my elliot will be here tomorrow <laughs> he can pick them off tomorrow got more over here oh look, we got some uh cucumbers these are the japanese long cucumbers and i love the flavor they stay really crunchy yep and our cherry tomatoes are coming on really well so we're getting a bunch of tomatoes so 
this is the crops down here doing good we've got uh, our sunflowers and some more zucchini in there and zinnias and some herbs and then these row crops that i call row crops they're doing really well they're growing up pretty good and i just wanted to show everybody from our last video these are the um on this end remember i was uh thinning out the purple hole peas and i didn't want to get rid of them and so it was it never came up on this end so i replanted them over here and they're doing really good i think they're going to produce later than obviously than the other ones it seems but they're still going to produce and we're having problems with grasshoppers yeah that's going to be our plague this year i believe i also need to come over here and pick rattlesnake pole beans some of them are getting too big. See, this is kind of too big. I like them when they're about the size of my finger because they stay really crispy. I mean, you you can eat them just about at any, any uh, length, I guess. They start to get really stringy if you, get them, if you don't get them right away. But I'm gonna come back and get some more. We'll be here all day. This right here is actually too big. Um, well, they'll be stringy. You can eat them, but they get a little tougher. So when they get this big, so, but you almost have to pick once a day, even though I'm just, my plants are really thin. Um, I, since they start coming on, you pick them every day and they seem to like grow every hour. They're just like grow an inch. <laughs> some more basil and some flowers i've got some uh marigolds coming up here this is just kind of my odds and end row here but i've got these are my samson farms uh, okra challenge okras and they're doing pretty good this one right here has been eaten up by grasshoppers i know that's what it is look right here too this one's been shredded because when i come over here to water i've I've jumped them. They jump them, so I know they're around here. But I can't wait. They're fixing to the flower. They're coming on where they're going to flower. They're so pretty. Okra flowers are really pretty. But the tomatoes and stuff are going really good. I've got the peppers. Over here is my green beans and some radishes, which we really don't eat radishes that much, so I'm just kind of giving them to the... <laughs> giving them to the chickens somewhat. I actually forgot, I harvested some. See, these are, oh, I forgot. It starts with a G, but they're yellow, Galipsy or something like that. Yellow green beans. I've never grown them before, but I've got to come over here. Some of them are getting ripe, ready to pick. And, but they're doing really good. I'm letting some of these radishes go to seed. They really didn't even, um, Oh, let's see. Oh, here we are. See, I told you. Aren't they pretty? Oh, now I've never had these, but these, they look so pretty. I don't think they change colors. They just stay yellow, even though these look like they're ripe. They've still got a little bit of a hue of some green to it. So I'm going to leave them. But I'm going to come back and check them out some more. But uh, they'll be pretty, you know, if you um, cook them up with the green ones. These lose the purple color and just turn into green, but these will be yellow, stay yellow. But anyway, my radishes, aren't these pretty? Pretty flowers. Uh, so, my tomatoes, these are my determinate tomatoes, which were Marglobe and Rutgers. I think these are the Rutgers. Now, I've had to be spraying because they are getting these little white flies like little white flies and aphids and stuff so i'm trying to spray i've seen a couple ladybugs but there ain't enough of them but the nemo usually takes care of it really well oh oh boy looky here 
We found a varmint. Yep. Yeah, he's eating my plants, so he's gonna have to go bye bye. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got the squash. Oh, my um, azuki beans. We're fixing to flower. They're flowering. Aren't they pretty? I have no idea what they what they look like or taste like, but they were just one of those interesting packs that I that I wanted to try. Sea packs. Pan squash. This one's doing really well, taking off. And the others are still doing good. So far, we've eluded the squash bugs. I've been coming out and checking underneath the leaves. There's been one or two here and there. But um, these are so pretty. Look at the packs of tomatoes that are coming on. The little, little sets. They're supposed to be white cherry tomatoes. But I have the same plant on the end. And for some reason it turned red. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so we've got our yellow squash. These are straight neck. I think the other ones were crooked neck, but they're still yellow squash and they taste the same. But then we got cucumbers. We got some more of these Japanese long cucumbers over here, which they do have these little pricky things on the outside, but um, they kind of hurt, but they go, they come right off and they taste great. But, see, oh, here we go. See, I don't know. This is so weird. <laughs> I grew these last year. And they were white and add a little bit of a hue to a yellow to them but this time they're turning red so that makes me wonder i don't know what i planted but that's we're supposed to be white all right these wildflowers i can't even get through here <laughs> we gotta back up <laughs> my pepper plants are doing fairly well i'm still needing to fertilize some more but as you can see they're still kind of puny but they're they're putting on flowers and stuff. The different varieties, I'm seeing what's gonna grow good and what's, you know, not. These have a little bit of insect problems, but, um, but they're, still, they're still edible, so it'll be good. And these are the purple, oh, I forgot the names of these things. What are these? Purple beauties, and I'm not sure those are Oda Bells right there. These are Purple Beauties. So they're all putting on, and I've picked a couple of peppers already, so we've been eating them. I think this might also be from the sun, some of these weird colors and stuff that's on it. But I have a surprise to myself. This is this is sun right here. I'm going to have to go ahead. That's, that's from the sun. It's been so hot. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one because the other side is good okay look at these two plants these are supposed to be the same thing they are not the same thing <laughs> and I don't know how that happened but this is supposed to be a chocolate beauty both of them but I'm pretty sure that this is a habanero which means my chocolate beauty may have a little bit of a kick to it <laughs> But these are the chocolate beauty as well over here. And see how pretty that that's turning. And that one over there isn't. So I have no idea what happened. I got zinnias in different places. Yep. Thinking about Zach Stivers and his zinnias. I got them everywhere too. I love them. Yep. I think they're a jewel of the gardener. All right. The regular tomato plants. The... Uh, ones I have for mostly sauces are doing pretty good if you we'll go through here and show you all the tomatoes that are coming on we're still working on the trellis yep and they're growing really big so I've got to uh, I've been trying to wrap them around so you can see the line they're wrapped around the but and I've been trying to get the little suckers off so they'll stay one stem but I I'm not out here enough it just they grow they're growing pretty fast and they, some of them have aphids and stuff problems Ugh. anyway these are the pink ox heart they're really cute they have a little um, 
point to them. <laughs> I say cute. I'm a girl, okay? I think stuff's cute. Uh, anyway, but they taste really good and they're really meaty. So they make really good sauce and they also make great slicing tomatoes. But the rest of these are coming on pretty well. You can see the big groups of uh, some of them got bug problems. I can tell. But um, I've got quite a few that are coming on. Bunches here. You know, I used to have markers down here and I don't remember what's what now. Some of these. can't see my markers anymore. But... Yep, I got my marigolds everywhere, different flowers and herbs planted in between the tomato plants. But uh, I think over here, somewhere is some Bonnie's Best. And a caterpillar got this, but it didn't go all the way through, so I went ahead and left it on there. But the tomatoes are really full. Look at those down there. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Quite a bit of really good. These are huge over here. I don't even know. I'm not really sure what kind it is. <laughs> I'm going to have to look this back up again. But. Oh. I think there's some caterpillar damage on one. Ooh. Got to watch out for them when they're this close together. Mm, there's a little bit of damage. I can't show you. But. Uh, it's not all the way through. So it's not eating it. But. Over here are the Gilbertos, and you got to check them. We've been, the watering has been sporadic, but that right there is Blossom and Ron. So that tomato is no longer any good. So you got to get rid of it. And so you need to check the bottoms of your tomato plants, tomatoes real well. But this becomes chicken food. <laughs> Yep. yep. There's another one. There's some more of them. That's not good. When they get that blossom in rot, it's sad. <laughs> but they're doing pretty good. These down here are. Um, the triple L crop, which usually has huge tomatoes. So I'm watching these. You get, need to keep them really supported. And over here is supposed to be the beef steak. So they're coming on pretty good, but a couple of the tomato plants were damaged from the storm, but, but uh, they're coming back pretty good. <laughs> Yep, this is my habaneros. You see the look over here. It's a really big one. <laughs> I have never grown habaneros. No, I did a long time ago, but not these kind. So I'm looking forward to some salsa. This is that. It's a hot pepper. It's the Hinkle hot Hinkle hot pepper which I am not sure, but this is not the same pepper that I grew last year with that same name. Cause they were more fat, squatty. These are long and skinny, so I have no idea. I don't know why that it would grow differently. But these are the Hungarian wax, which some of these are about ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. To pick peppers, you just, if you lift it up, it should just pop right off real easy when it's ready. And if you have to pull, then it's really not ready. So these, this one could have stayed on there a little bit longer, but I'm fixing to make us some salsa as well. The best salsa is with variety to me. The more different kinds of peppers you have, the better your salsa tastes. <laughs> yeah, look at these. This one, and this part's small, so it needs probably, yeah, look at the leaves just falling off of it. That's sad, that one got rotted. Mm, so it needs to uh, I'm gonna leave that one on I guess I love those type of marigolds those are pretty cayenne peppers coming on pretty good we got one turning red over here mm, I'm gonna wait until they get red 
Most all of my peppers I got I planted from seed, except for the jalapenos. And those right there are the horriblest looking pepper plants. <laughs> of course, they did have a caterpillar that got on them, but they just are terrible. Some of they've got a virus, like some of this. I might have to pull some of these out because these are these are chili peppers. Which I'm gonna go ahead and get them. They've been on here a little while. And that's not popping off very easy, is it? Yeah, it might not want to come off just yet. That one did. Any bigger than the other ones, it should pop right off. Maybe, yeah, I'll have to cut that one off. Those are called big gems, so they can get bigger. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about it. Garden's growing pretty well. So, tell me what you think. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed my little stroll. Really fun when you get to. Uh, start eating out of your garden and eating the rewards from all your hard work so that's what we're going to be doing <laughs> and we have been enjoying squash and stuff like that so we're thankful that god has blessed us for through all our hard work thanks for stopping by god bless y'all have a great day